uh, what I really like the uh, best part of being a chef is uh, it, it, you'll never learn everything. And it's exciting because you, every day you can work on something exciting and new. You know, it doesn't matter how your day goes. You go to your cutting board and you work on a recipe and you're lost, you know, you're just having fun. And uh, that's what I like about it. it at Diva at the Met in the Metropolitan Hotel, Chef Hamid Salimiam crafts cutting edge regional cuisine and has become known for his very original takes on appetizers or snacks as he calls them. This one was inspired by potato skins one might have in a pub. So we thought, okay, how can we make that taste similar to baked potato and make it elegant? So uh, this way we make a, a broth from the baked potato skin and then we thicken it with some uh, potato starch, we dehydrate it, we fry it. Then we finish it with homemade creme fraiche, Australian truffles and chives. So when you put this little bite in your mouth, uh, it, it's a lot more flavorful than if you're taking a small bite of a baked potato at the pub because it's more intense and um, it's, I think it's more exciting, you know. I have to have a taste of this. I've definitely never had a potato chip quite like this. <laughs> Just need a big bag of that at home. <laughs> Next up, a snack he calls muscle coal. Looks like a lump of coal, tastes like a delicious plate of steamed mussels. The idea is when you eat this, it would be the same thing as if you're eating a bowl of mussels, and when you have all the broth left on the bottom of your mussels and you're dipping a bread in it, and putting some aioli on it and eating it. So we're trying to achieve that. You, when you look at something that is uh, black, your mind tells you that this thing is not edible. So here we're trying to serve it on a, like a burnt wood, and then they make the bread that looks like a charcoal, and, um, it is, and it is edible and it's tasty. Also edible and tasty is Chef Salimian's take on pizza. A whole new iteration of pizza. More powder on top, a little bit more uh, cheese. <laughs> wow. So this is the adult version of the pizza you enjoyed as a child, maybe? Uh, yes. <laughs> what we're trying to do with food is uh, associate the flavors to your childhood, you know, and I think that's where people get excited because they remember all those flavors that they had and uh, the happy memories and hopefully we can bring it back. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express.